Welcome back everybody, this is Tyler Weeb from Pro Physique, and in today's video, we're gonna talk how to set up your mini cut. Alright, welcome back everybody. Hope you are all doing well getting by during the quarantine and the COVID. Hopefully you are all safe and healthy and of course hopefully gyms will start opening soon so that we can get back at it, get back to our normal routine and start making some gains again. But before we go ahead and jump into today's topic, just make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you're not missing out on any future content. And if you have any questions or topics that you would like to see discussed in future videos, just go ahead, go over to my Instagram here, shoot me a DM, or you just go ahead, leave a comment down below, and I'll make sure to get to those in future videos. But let's go ahead and shift over into today's topic, and that is mini cuts, okay? So, I am doing this video uh, personally because I am actually going to be setting up a mini cut here at the beginning of June and so I thought it would really be a great idea to, to kind of document the process. How do I go about this? How do I set up everything ready to go for that mini cut? Um, and then just take you through that process and what it looks like, what can you expect and hopefully this can help some of you set up a mini cut down the road, especially coming out of quarantine. Um, I know many of us have probably put on a few more pounds than we've really wanted to, or you know, looking a little soft, the training isn't normal, our tracking has got a little loose, and we're maybe just not super happy with where our physique is at. And that's kind of where I found myself. Um, taking a look at some pictures, I was like, oof, I let things, I think, slide a little bit too much. I have a trip coming up with some friends. We're gonna be at the lake, on the beach uh, in July, and so I wanna make sure that, hey, I clean things up a little, maybe you know, look a little bit better, drop some body fat, and then we can go from there. But I didn't really want to go through a very extended long diet that is not the goal to drop a ton of weight. It's more so to get my body weight back down to a more comfortable level after almost two years of reversing. So that's actually gonna be uh, rule number one. We're only gonna talk about a couple today and then we'll talk about kind of more as we go through forward in this series. But the first thing is you need to make sure that you are actually ready to diet. Okay, I know you've heard me say this a million times, but you have needed to reverse for a significant amount of time, not dieted for a significant amount of time previously, so that you can actually be ready to drop body fat. If you are not ready to drop body fat, then a mini cut is pointless, and you do need to go spend some time building. Okay, so like I said, I've been reversing for almost two, two years now at this point. I've put on, from my last stage weight, about 30 to 40 pounds, so kind of in between right there. So I've put on clearly quite a bit of body fat, but I've also, I know, built quite a bit of muscle. Um, I have upped my food to some significant levels, and I've just let my body be for a while. No dieting, nothing, just building. And that's where you really, really want to be for that diet, because mini cut is exactly as it says, right? Mini. It goes very fast, you are very aggressive, and you're just trying to drop an appreciable amount of fat in a very short time frame. So you do wanna make sure that you've got a good amount of food and your metabolism is ready to diet, okay? So I know that I, even though I may have gotten my track tracking a little bit loose lately, I am ready for that mini cut. My body is ready. I have spent enough time doing the right things to make sure that I'm ready for that. So that is going to, and always before you start a diet, Rule number one, make sure you are ready to diet. And then the second rule here, we need to go back to more controlled and tight tracking, right? So while we have maybe been eyeballing a lot of things, we've been kind of, yeah, there, I'm not tracking this bite there, we want to all of a sudden kind of start treating everything like we are already dieting, right? So this is the prep before the prep or the prep before the diet. And something that everybody should always go through before they jump into a diet because we shouldn't be tracking hardcore every little thing all year, right? We do need to take a break from that. It is healthy and it is a part of the journey. And so when we do know that a diet is coming up, I always recommend spending at least two to four weeks 
bringing your food back in, really tracking again, and getting back into that habit. Because it is a habit, it is a skill, and it is, can be something that we do lose a little bit of when we're not doing it as much. And so, because that is so important to the dieting process, having two to four weeks and using that opportunity before you actually start dieting to getting used to tracking that hardcore again is a very good idea. Plus, it can give you a bit of an idea of what your body is doing before you go ahead and start dieting. Sometimes what can happen is people do tend to get a bit more loose and they're actually eating a lot more than what they thought or what their numbers indicate. And so all of a sudden we're bringing everything back in. You actually may already see a couple pounds drop just because you are tightening up your tracking again. So that's always a bonus if you can get that. And so I always encourage people to take it some time, prepare yourself for the diet, and you may even see some drops because you probably were eating more than you actually think you were. So it's a great jump start to the diet and it really gives you some good momentum going into the diet because you know what? This is gonna be, like I said, very short. Four to six weeks, that's it, you're done, you're out. Anything longer than that is an actual diet and then that's a different story. So what I've done then in these last week and then I've got about another one or two more weeks because mid-July, end of July is when it is and I'm gonna take all of June and probably a couple weeks into the July of dieting depending on how things go. And so these last couple of weeks, I'm really dialing things back in, I'm recording, I'm weighing myself again, and I'm just really seeing, okay, where's my body at? What is my body doing before I actually start to be aggressive and make some bigger cuts to my food as well as my addition of cardio? So really, you know, before you start, it's all about preparing the body for that diet because we wanna have as much success as possible when we do this, right? And so because the goal is to lose as much weight as possible within that kind of four to six, eight, you know, four to six weeks, we really want to make sure that we're ready to go and boom, right off the bat, we're losing weight. And so spending some time to really bring everything in, prepare your body is going to help lead to that type of success with that mini cut. All right, guys, that is where I'm going to leave you. So I've got this week, I've got next week of dialing everything back in getting an idea, getting a good sense of where my body's at, my metabolism is at. So I won't be talking about this probably until later next week when I'm ready to start making cuts. So I'll go over the type of cuts you need to make, how much should you cut for a mini cut initially, cardio, all that kind of stuff, I'll cover that. Uh, and then moving forward, it'll be just kind of more of a date or a weekly journal, giving you guys updates, what I'm noticing, what kind of changes I need to make if things are plateauing and everything like that. So. Hopefully this helps you to start get getting set up for your cut coming out of quarantine. Um, for me, I don't wanna do something very long because that isn't necessarily the goal. Uh, like I said, the goal is to just get a little bit leaner, get a little bit slimmer and drop a little bit of the reverse and quarantine weight so I can be a little bit more comfortable of a body weight. All right guys, like I, that is going to be everything. So thank you for watching. Hopefully, you know, we are back and I will talk to you again soon.